right guys, it's Nathan with American West Realty and today we are in for a treat because I'm doing a tour of 1537 Alger which is a very unique property because it happens to be the oldest house in Cody. So if you're looking at the house, uh, the original back end of the structure that was built in 1899. The front portion was built in 1992 and is much more modern. So a couple things to point out is first off this house is partially furnished so you will be taking it with some furniture uh, we'll point that out as we go through second thing is that there is a an old log cabin here to my side as well as a shop uh, slash garage those items are not available with the rent those are retained by the owner at least for the, the time being until they can figure out what to do with them uh, get them emptied out and usable uh, another thing to point out is this is a large corner lot. It's a lot of yard. Uh, but the good news is the owners maintain it, so that will be included in the rent. It's on a full sprinkler system, and uh, the owners have a company that come in and handle the, the lawn care. So in the back is a garden shed. It's currently locked up. That may be accessible for use uh, as a small little covered concrete patio on the front. Then it's got a gardening space off to the side. There's also a nice fire pit back behind it. Uh, the yard kind of wraps around one side, uh, as well as up in the front facing Alger. For parking, you have parking out on the street all along Alger, or here along 16th Street. Uh, so it is street parking, you can't park in front of the shop. Uh, and then there's a lot of sidewalk to get you up to the house. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, the owners will maintain the landscaping in the summer, but it is your responsibility to handle the snow removal in the winter. Okay, we've got a nice patio here. This is on the east side of the house, so that would be in the shade in the summertime, uh, in the evening, so that's nice. And other than that, let's go ahead and take a look inside. So here we are inside the house. There's a nice little enclosed entryway. It does have a window to allow some natural light as well as a light. It's a great place to take off your boots or your coat before heading into the house. It does have a nice solid wood door uh, as well as a steel exterior door to help hold out the weather. As you step inside the house, you've got a few decisions to make. So here on the right, we've got a nice large coat closet. To the left is the living space or downstairs a couple bedrooms. And then over here would be considered the master suite. This has its own door, so you can basically close off this side and make it a true master without, uh, I guess, exposing yourself to the public as you go between the bedroom and bathroom. So back here we have the master bedroom. This is the original cabin built in 1899. It's had some renovations, but the... Uh, basic structure is original still got the original exterior door there are a lot of windows in here these are the original windows they're single pane wood framed windows uh, pretty old and probably not very energy efficient so they do have these heavy kind of light blocking insulated curtains hung up to help uh, keep this side of the house cool or uh, of course warm in the winter Original fireplace, fully functional, got some neat things embedded in it to include the rifle up top. That's fully embedded so it can't be taken down, can't be fired uh, strictly for appearances. And then here in the corner we have a gas uh, operated furnace that's more than capable of heating this room as well as the bathroom if needed. Uh, the bathroom is part of the new addition so it's on the forced air heat system. All right, so let's go take a look at the bathroom. One more thing I'll show you is uh, I got some built-in storage here to the side. This door leads out to another small enclosed porch. Let you take a look at that. And then that door leads out to the side yard. Uh, so another good place you could take off some, some boots or a jacket or something. There is a very small doggy door there if you had a small enough dog to utilize that. Keeping in mind that the fence or the yard is not fenced at all. Here we have the master bathroom, which also would be accessible for guests. It has a window up there above the shower, but that is not to the exterior. It's uh, actually looking into the uh, kitchen dining area, 
but it does allow for some natural light into this space. Got a ventilation fan, again, forced air heat system on this side, and lots of storage built in. Okay, going back over to the living space, keeping in mind again that this is a furnished unit, so the bedroom uh, furniture you saw remains, as well as this living room furniture. Uh, back behind the nook there, there's a small writing table. Got a nice big flat screen TV, lots of built-in shelves. You got three uh, stools here at the breakfast bar. And then in the kitchen, you can see the appliances that are included. The microwave, flat top stove, pretty old dishwasher, but it works great. And then a newer uh, refrigerator with a freezer on bottom. And around the corner, there's also a uh, coffee pot that's included. And I think that's about it. I just wanted to show, uh, give you an idea of the storage, quite a bit of storage built in. And in particular, you've got this nice pull-out pantry. So we've got these individual shelves, they can be adjusted a little bit on height. Uh, so it makes your storage a little more functional. Alright, so that is it for the downstairs, let's, or the upstairs. Let's go take a look at the downstairs. Okay, here we are in the basement area. This is a lot of natural light. Uh, we've got two bedrooms and a full bath as well as the laundry on this level. You can see the uh, stackable front loading washer and dryer are included, as well as some additional storage space here. Uh, over here we have two storage closets. One is just a standard kind of coat closet size. This one's a little bit shorter. It has the hot water heater as well as a couple of insulating blocks that are designed to close up the windows. So if you're not using this space or you don't want the natural light, you can kind of close those off and insulate the area so it's a little bit uh, more energy efficient in the summer or winter. Uh, again, this is a forced air heat system down here. You can see a ton of built-in shelves throughout. The owners were avid readers, if I didn't already mention that. We have two bedrooms. This bedroom has a built-in closet, dresser drawer, small bed, whatever that is, a twin, I guess. And over on this side, a little bit larger bed. It's probably a queen size. Again, built-in shelves, closet, and dresser drawer. All forced air heat throughout. No air conditioning, but it does stay pretty cool in here in the basement. Then here we have the second bathroom, which you can see has a pretty good amount of storage. Medicine cabinet, we've got additional linen storage over here to the side. Uh, brand new uh, bathtub and shower surround, elongated bowl toilet. And this is just access to the uh, crawl space. You could use that for some additional storage if need be. There's a light back there, but basically it's a dirt floor and not really suitable to store much. So that's it for the basement and if you have any questions be sure to check this out online with our other listings at AmericanWestRealty.com. You can schedule showings or even start the application process online. Or if you have any questions give us a call at 307-587-9608. Thanks guys.